Here we go. Good morning. Chapter 7, Lesson 4. We're going to be talking about slope today. <clears throat> we know that in this lesson we found out what the slope was. The slope was the rise over the run. The rise is the same as the change in the y direction, just like a loaf of bread. And the run is like when you run around the track on PE, it's the changes in the x's. So in our equation, we have the slope m, it's always called m, is equal to the changes in the y. The y is on the top, the x is on the bottom. The twos and the ones just tell us to separate which ones are the ordered pairs. The first ordered pair, the second ordered pair. It doesn't matter which way you go as far as calculating the slope. So we have the first ordered pair 4, 0, and the second one 5, comma 7. Remember, x is 4, y is 0, x is 5, and y is 7. <clears throat> Problem number 11, let's get started. Let's calculate that slope. So we're going to go with 4, comma 0, 5, comma 7, and like, oops, and like we did in uh, class, let me get rid of this stuff. We're going to draw some arrows. We're going to put the y's on the top. We're going to put the x's on the bottom. So the x's go on the bottom, the y's go on the top. Let me see if I can move that and give myself a little more room here. Oops. There we go. So we have, uh, I'm going to make a little change here, just like we do in class. Let's put the y on the top. So y goes on the top, the x goes on the bottom. We're going to use our formula over here. Again, it doesn't matter which way we go. So we're going to start with uh, slope. We're going to put the y's on the top and the x's on the bottom. So here we go. Both arrows have to go in the same direction. So we're going to start with the second y, which is 7. Minus, and we always put our minus signs in there, so 7 minus 0. Down in the bottom, we're going to put our x's. We got our minus sign already in place, so we're going to go with 5 minus 4. So we're going to do this math, so we end up with a slope as 7 over 1. So there's our slope, 7. Let's try this for problem number 29. The ordered pairs are 4, 3 and x, 7. They gave us a slope this time and they said solve for x. So here we go. Let's do the same thing. So we're going to do 4, 3. We're going to do x, 7. We're going to go y's on the top. x is on the bottom. So the y's on the top. x is on the bottom. So let's figure out the slope, which they already gave us as 2. So let's see if that gives us some information. Let's put our minus signs and minus signs. So we have 7 minus 3, and we have x minus 4. So our equation looks like 2 is equal to 7 minus 3 over x minus 4. I'm going to put this in parentheses just for funsies. So this looks like 2 is equal to 4 over x minus 4. We could do it a couple different ways. But I bet if you just think about this for a second, we're looking for something that if we have a um, 4 in the numerator and something in the bottom, we're going to end up with a 2. Well, this looks like x minus 4 has to be a 2 because 4 divided by 2 would give me the 2, so x turns out to be equal to 6. So there's our solution. x is equal to 6, and for problem number 11, the slope was m is equal to 7. That's it for now. We'll see you all tomorrow.